Which projector technologies should you consider for your home cinema setup? And what features should we look for? AWE presents Smart Home Essential Series. Three things to look for in a home cinema projector. There are three main types of chipset used to produce an image in a home cinema projector. You have DLP, 3LCD and LCOS, or as Sony call it, SXRD. Single chip DLP is the most common and often the most cost effective of the technologies as they only use a single chip to produce the image. The 4K pixel shifting DLP chips have either two or four million moving mirrors. Each mirror represents a pixel. To create a bright pixel, the mirror angles light towards the lens and to create a dark pixel, it scatters light away from the lens. As there is only one chip, a color wheel goes in front of the light source to produce color. This is why many people see the rainbow effect where you see red, green and blue tails behind fast moving objects. Also, due to the color wheel, the color light output suffers as it's not showing all of the colors all of the time. And they'll often add a white sector to make white brighter. This can make the image look washed out. Three LCD projectors by Epson have three chips, one for red, one for green and one for blue. As there are three chips, it can produce all of the colors all of the time. This eliminates the rainbow effect and as we have all of the colors on screen at the same time, our color light output matches our lumen level output, giving us a fantastic color accurate image. Lastly, we have LCOS, our as Sony call it, SXRD. This again is a three chip technology, but this time has over 8 million pixels on each chip. So it's the only technology that can natively produce a 4K image. The other technologies use a form of pixel shift to create a 4K image. So do not show all of the pixels at the same time on screen. So do you choose a lamp or a laser? Well, this really comes down to budget. Laser is a better light source. It's got a more consistent color temperature through its life and the brightness of the laser can be controlled to boost dynamic contrast. In fact, it can turn off and on instantaneously. So you can produce a true black with no light spill onto the screen. Laser technology is more durable and lasts 10 times longer than a lamp. So there's less maintenance with no lamp changes. Things you must check with any projector you specify is that you can fill the screen with the image from wherever it's mounted. Make sure that the projector's throw ratio works with the distance that you are projecting. Ideally, if you're ceiling mounting, you want to have lots of lens shift so you can move the image down onto the screen optically rather than using keystone correction, which skews the image. With keystone correction, you are actually going to add digital artifacts and you're going to lose brightness of the image. Here at AWE, we distribute both Sony and Epson projectors. So we've got the best technology from £500 right up to £100,000. Check out more videos below and please support our channel by hitting the like button. To stay up to date with our latest videos, remember to subscribe and check the bell icon so you get notified whenever new content is released. If you have any questions, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching.